Hello everyone, today I'll tell you about my project that I've been recently working on. It's a menu, as you can see, I made it from tutorials from other YouTubers, uh, links are in the description, so you can watch uh, how to do it, it's pretty easy. And also, the music link uh, in the description, it's a free music, I suppose, so you can download it and use it if you want. So what is my game about? It's about a spider, a kind of spider tank that walks and shoot. So pretty simple idea with the procedural animation. Firstly I made the procedural animation and then I added an enemy. I made an enemy pretty simple just walking towards a player, trying to dodge, uh, shoot at you and nothing special about that enemy. The only thing that is special, it uh, tries not to fall over and tries to find the path to you using rays. He shoots uh, the same as you, it's like the copy of you but with AI. That's it. You have a mini-map you know, in the right top corner and you can use your drones to detect spiders on, on mini-map. You'll see the icons show up when you use drones and also enemy can launch uh, drones to detect you. So pretty straightforward uh, mechanic of drones. Uh, I've planned it and it worked okay. Uh, the main issue with the minimap was that it's really hard uh, because you have to code relative position to your camera, the position of, of uh, an enemy and then you translate to the entry position of rectangular transform of the minimap. So it's a little bit tricky but it wasn't so hard. Also I made a health so you kind of have two models, the body model and the uh, head model, so it has different health, it has armor, pretty basic mechanic, so you can try to dodge uh, bullets and not to get destroyed in your body. I fell over because I have an issue when my body doesn't turn uh, to the fall so it's kinda a little bit not physically accurate because I don't use physics for that movement I use transforms and mathematical calculation uh, because my body of a player turns to the legs so body will try to rotate to be in the middle of the position it's like approximation of position of the legs so I have slight issues uh, with aligning body when my legs are hanging and also uh, I've noticed that my enemies uh, have some issue getting to me But as you can see, they still can manage to find me even at the top. But it's only one and I think it just gets lucky to do so. So that's not something special and I have to solve this. And I think it uh, will solve if I make them uh, fall accurately. As you can see, now everyone can walk walls and not fall and that I've decided to make a self-destruction function so if the bot is stuck or player is f 
fell over and he cannot make it back, you'll auto-destruct and everyone will be happy, especially me, because my laptop isn't so performance friendly. So many stuck enemies with physics turn on will cause a lot of lag. Here you can see that my two dump enemies fell over and cannot go up. So they need a self-destruction function so they can respawn and be okay with that. After uh, some time I added uh, projectiles, different type of projectiles, armor system and added it to an interface. So I added three types of projectiles, the basic one that flies really fast but do little damage, the second one that flies slower, make an explosion and deal more damage, and the nuke one that destroys everything in the huge radius and just have a green explosion, so really, really funny stuff. I forgot to mention that I made an HDRP lighting and its HDRP decals are working better for me and uh, there is no uh, great solution of, except for writing yourself in uh, usual lighting environment so GDRP it's kind of good for me but I had an issue with the camera I haven't used HDRP, I tried to use two cameras with different settings to imitate my camera from inside the tank and from third person but after HDRP I have implemented HDRP in my project I have to use I have to adjust this camera, one camera, third person, to the head camera person and uh, change four instead. As you can see, the nuke is kind of amazing, it's a huge explosion, it's kind of OP. But then I noticed some issue with the weird physics of the bot so I've decided to test it I reload the scene so there's an issue with the rig builder in Unity it kind of overrides the physics so you need to add a rigid body with a collider and joints uh, with rigid body and geometry to this uh, physics so you don't have to turn, o turn off your rig builder and uh, I don't want to turn off rig builder because my physics works on a legs attachment so if my legs are detached my physics is turned on so I've tested it and I have noticed that my body looks kind of weird and that's because of the mass of the uh, fake uh, box with the mass it must be really really low weight because as you can see it it seems like pulling my object it slows it down I don't know why, but I found a solution and also I made an angle follow so if, if the body is 90 degrees more to the to the ground it starts to fall and later I added a fall damage, it's pretty easy on collision damage get the velocity of the rigid body and add it to the damage and also I made a damage a threshold so it's like little damage won't even consider be as a damage after some improvements with the mass and testing i managed to repair the nuke and also there was one issue with the nuke when uh, i wanted to create the effects that just everything flies uh, away everything any direction uh, at force uh, one frame at force won't work because I suppose it's a rig builder because everything else is works great and then I added uh, a sphere with the same radius that will apply force 
for one second to any object that inside it so it's kind of imitate uh, this shock wave or explosion to the to any object my next plan is to add a crosshair to the screen it's kind of why this pride it will show you the position of the place where my gun is looking at and also i want to add a rotation towards my hanging legs it will make a, such a realistic improvement to my game and after that i suppose i'll add uh, blocks of the map and uh, maybe armor ref refill system because uh, my projectiles are kind of really really short amount of them so i think i'll make them spawn from an dead enemies thank you for watching see you next week goodbye